Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at work. Uh, we're going to answer this question. How much work does it really take to get out of bed in the morning? Now, remember in the science classroom, work is different. Work is explained as the formula work equals force times distance. So work is really just moving an object using a force over a distance, okay? So homework really isn't that much work. The only work in homework is moving your pen or your pencil, but I understand work feels like a whole lot more work in the general sense. But in a science sense, it's only moving stuff, okay? So how much work does it take me to get out of bed in the morning? Sometimes it seems like it is a ton of work, okay? So we need a force and we need a distance, all right? Um, we do need to talk just a little bit about units. The force that we like to use, we use newtons as much as we can. Um, I know sometimes you measure work with other different units, but as much as we can, we'd like to keep that in with newtons and distance. We try and keep the distance in meters as much as we can as well. That just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit general rules going on, okay? So I'm going to take some liberties here, but work equals force. How much force does it take to get me out of bed? Well, I weigh about 200 pounds, okay? Now, I'm not going to say 200 pounds in there. I'm going to say I'm lifting. I'm going to put it in newtons. Now, I'm going to do a little conversion factor here. Pounds on the bottom, newtons on top. One pound is about four and a half newtons. That's a general. That's what it is about. So 200 times 4.5 is 900. Wow, that just makes me feel like I really have to go on a diet. So we're going to say work is the force that I have to lift up 900 newtons. Now, disclaimer, do I have to lift all my 900 newtons up? No, my feet are really close to the floor and I'm already on my bed halfway up. But we're just going to make this a little bit easier and just say I'm lifting 900 newtons up times distance. Now, once again, there is a disclaimer. My bed is obviously I don't sleep directly on the floor. I'm already up a little bit and I just have to swing my feet down. But just to make it easier, I measured up to my belly button. That's going to be, we're going to call that my center of gravity, even my center of gravity is a little bit taller. But we're going to say I lifted about 1.3 meters. So work is 900 newtons times 1.3 meters. Now, multiply those two together, and I am taking liberties, I know that, but we end up with 1,170. Now, there's two ways to say this. You could say newton meters, okay? Just over 1,000 newton meters, or one newton meter is equal to one joule, okay? So that's the, that's the usual term that we like to use when we're talking about work, but one newton meter is the same thing as one joule. So how much work does it take me to get out of bed in the morning? 1,170 joules of work. Hope this helps. Have a beautiful day.